Hello YouTube, this is Theophilus. Today, I'm going to be dealing with this pivotal question or answer, or just a statement. Sex, purpose, the purpose of sex, the purpose of sex. Sex is between one man and one woman. Sex is for production and for pleasure when you're married. Sex is between married individual. Sex is not for singleness, which is called fornication. Sex is not for bestiality, doing it to animals. That's not the purpose of sex. Sex is not for homosexual, which being two men doing it or having sexual pleasure. That's not the purpose of sex. That's called perversion. Sex is not between two women. That's called lesbianism. And that's unnatural affection. Sex is not for rape. If a person say no to you for having sex, you don't force yourself upon them that it call rape or day rape. So let's just say they go over again. Sex is for pleasure and reproduction. Sex is not for singleness. Sex is for marriage. Sex is the purpose of bringing children into this world. Sex is not placing the sperm into your vagina to cause you to get pregnant. But sex is between a man and a woman. The Bible say, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth. And the reason why that was said because when Noah got out the ark with uh, uh, Noah's uh, sons and wife and the animals, uh, God, God told Noah to tell his children to be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth. Because remember, in the beginning, that the earth was destroyed because of water, because of the sin that was being committed on the earth. So God wiped that nation out because they didn't believe that it going to rain. But it rained. It rained and rained and it rained. But Noah and the Bible say eight was saved into the ark. So when God got out the ark and God told Noah, be, 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 be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth. So sex purpose. The purpose of sex is between a married couple between a man and a woman. In Genesis chapter 3, it says that the, the, hus the wife gave the fruit to her husband. There's no way in the Bible it says that a pastor and a gentleman. No way. It didn't say that Eve and Eve ate the fruit. It said Adam and his wife ate the fruit. So I'm saying the purpose of sex is for pleasure and reproduction. Sex is not for singleness. It's not for single folks. The purpose of sex is for pleasure and reproduction. Sex is not for bestiality. People don't have sex with animals. That's not sex. That's, that's called bestiality. That's called, that's called nastiness. It's just like sex between two men that's called homosexuality that's that's called perversion and two uh, having sex with with two female that called perversion that call just out of this on a natural affection so I'm saying to you all the purpose of sex is for pleasure and reproduction Sex is not for single folks. Sex is not just for you to get your groove on being single. 
but sex is for the marriage people to bring bring folks to bring children into this world or to have pleasure to please one another it's not it's not for pleasure when you're single i know the bible says it's better to marry than to burn but paul is not given license for you get married for the purpose of sex if you are sexually addicted to sex don't get married because once you get married you you can't please your spouse you're gonna go out the bed and try to please somebody else because you're addicted to sex get delivered from your addiction then you get married don't have a license to say the purpose the reason why i'm getting married because i have a sexual addiction the purpose for you uh, uh to, to 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 kill that that addiction is for you to get help then you get married a person that addicted to sex shouldn't get married because your spouse will not please you you will always want more after more after more and once you can't get more, you'll go down and you get somebody else. So I'm saying that for those that addiction, get help for your addiction and then you get married. Because if your addiction is, is, a, is a lustful desire, it's a lust, it's craving, it's greed. It's greed to fulfill your unpleasurable need. See, addiction... By being married, it would not uh, uh, heal your addiction. God can heal your addiction, then you get married. The purpose of you saying that I'm going to get married because of addiction, believe me, my friend, you your spouse would not satisfy you because you want it 24-7. You want it all the time. Not with one person, but numerous of person. So sex purpose the purpose of sex as i said before is between one man and one woman which is called a husband and a wife it is not for bestiality it is not for homosexuality it is not for lesbianism because those things are called perversion and it's not for rape if somebody say no to you don't force yourself upon that person because that is called rape. So I'm selling, telling you, as being a believer, that sex is a good thing. You enjoy sex when you are married to one person, not numerous of person. Because once you get that, that numerous of person, then you become having a sexual addiction. And being married won't, won't fulfill your addiction. The only thing can fulfill your addiction is, is to keep on having sex after sex after sex. And I don't understand individual. Like I would listen to this broadcast and this, this, this young lady call in and say that, am I going to hell because I am a bisexual and I'm married to a man and the man, my husband, understand. But I share my bed with this woman and I'm married also. That called confusion. Why did you get married to this man and knowing that you are, you are a, 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 a bisexual? Because that's confusion. You even you even are, are straight or you gay. You can't be both ways. You can't be a bisexual and get married because you want a man. Uh, you want to have sex with a man and then you have sex with a woman. That called con confusion. And the best thing to do is to end this confusion is to pray to God, go to God and say, God, take this unnatural affection from me because you confuse my friend. You are married and you're bisexual and you, and you have a husband. That's confusion because the Bible say that the bed is undefiled, but whoremongers and adultery, God going to judge. So I'm saying in my closing that sex purpose is for married people between a, a man and a woman. Sex is not for singleness. 
It's not for you to taste the water before you drink the water. Even have faith that this is the person for you to spend the rest of your life with. Believe me, my friend. The Bible said, man that find out a wife, find a good thing and have favor with the Lord. So I'm saying that it's, it's better to marry than to burn. But only if you are going to spend your rest of your life with this person. It's not to try this person. Then if it's not good, you dump her and get another one. No, that's not it. So the purpose of sex is for pleasure and reproduction. Sex is not for bestiality. Sex is not for homosexuality. Sex is not for lesbianism. Sex is not for bestiality. Sex is not for rape. Amen. Amen. But sex, the purpose of sex. See, God gives sex. God made sex. Sex is between you and your spouse. A man and a woman. I'm not going to say two women. I'm not going to say two men. I'm not going to say that. But I'm saying in the, in the Bible, in Genesis, God made Adam and Eve. All through the Bible, we see that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of perversion. And you can't justify this thing saying that, that God is all right. God ordained it. No, God did not ordain. God un, unordained it. And it's against God's nature, God's standard. God's standard of holiness is either holiness or hell. And the way you are leading, you are leading to hell. Because hell is for those that don't want to live right, don't want to talk right, don't want to act right. See, righteousness is, to, is, is, is a standard of, of, of act right. Righteousness is the right, be right with God. So sex, as I say, God made sex. And sex is between a man and a woman. It's not for bestiality. It's not for you to have sex with animals. It's not for you to have sex with your dogs or your sheep or your goat or your horses or your chicken but, or your cat. But sex is between a man and a woman. Until next time, sex is good. God made sex. Sex is not for you to get your groove on and end up having AIDS or having syphilis or gonorrhea or claps. All those all those diseases that the, that's out there because of people that that, that kill us about sex. I mentioned there's two rings. There are the platinum ring and the plastic ring. The plastic ring is for the one night stand. And the platinum or gold ring is for until death do you apart. So I'm saying that the purpose of sex is for enjoyment between a, a husband and a wife. It's not for bestiality. It's not for homosexuality or lesbianism. It is not for date rape or rape period. But it's for the reproduction of, of to bring children into this world. And why are you confusing two women having children or two men having children called adoption. That's not God. Amen. I know a lot of people are going to get mad, but I'm, I'm telling the truth. And the Bible says the truth and the truth shall make us free. And it's time for us to tell the truth. Until next time, God bless.